I'm a mess already. Why's that? Well, I got about a mile into my hike and I was about ready to start filming something and I got no GoPro. Yeah, I was back at the car. Taking you to a great one today. Uh, this is one of my favorite mines. One of the biggest ones in New Hampshire. It's got uh, a couple different underground spots. Been a few years since I've been out here, so I'm excited to go see it again. Okay, so where we are now is one of the side mines to this operation. Uh, so you get the main site with several, uh, I said there were several underground spots. This is uh, completely different, uh, but a, a fun stop on the way. I'm going to sit here for a minute and then we'll keep moving. All right, here's a second area, uh, still on our way. This is a series of prospect pits. They're all flooded. Uh, got one here, uh, another one in through the trees here. You can see this one's bigger. And then there's a third one over there. I'm not going to fight through to get to it because they all are same idea. Here we are. And I'll tell you, you're not going to find a, a, a better spot. Number one, a more beautiful spot. Look at this giant archway here and look at... I'm going to turn around and all you're going to see is just like the shiny, the white, the quartz. Giant pieces as big as me that are just full of quartz and, and mica. Just a beautiful spot. The one spot we're not going to get into today is if you is right along uh, right in the bottom uh, you can come here in the dead of winter and this is frozen and from there you walk on the ice and it's gonna it's gonna go underground this way and it's gonna be a a big cavern uh, very much like the Yuhas number one where it's just a big open cavern and then off that cavern coming this way through the rock is about a 50 foot tunnel so like I said, we won't get in there today, but that's the first spot. All right, here we go. First big underground area. Hey, okay, we're in here. There's just so much to see. So let's start this way. All right, there's the opening to scramble down the rocks. And where I am now, this is... Well, first of all, this is ice. Like I say, I'm not kidding. It's 90 degrees out there. But under here, this is nothing I would attempt by myself. I can't think that I've been down here. I'm seeing 40 feet down at, at a 45 degree angle. Okay, so now come around here. Get some old scraps. Oh, look at the scaffolding. That's 20 feet up. Still looks sturdy, not quite enough for me to get on there. But I wonder if somebody is, because you see that plank is set up to basically go right onto the catwalk there. I think somebody is uh, braver than me. Now we come around the scaffolding. Oh, and the ledge is all up there. So to do that, you got to get up onto that ledge, and you'll see it. You might be able to see, but that ledge. I think that's better. Continues all the way there. Again, that's that plank that walks out to the scaffolding uh, back here. And we thought we saw some ice before. Look at this. That is a huge ice flow coming over here. Got the door. Uh, that door works, believe it or not. When it's uh, when there's no ice, you can swing that sucker open and shut. That'll lead down to a lower level there. We got more uh, shoot going down to that big cavern. Uh, what I'm going to do? I don't have my spikes, so we'll see if see if that's something we can do or not. All right, we're in. Actually, I was able to just sit down, and my foot could reach dry, and I crawled my way down. So let me get to. Uh, comfortable shot spot here and show you what's what. All right, so there's a door we just came through. You can see the light just faint coming through there. 
uh, underneath here, uh, when it's it's frozen, but when it's safely frozen, you can crawl all the way through. You go underneath there. Uh, let me see if I can give you a better view. Boy, this is tough. But uh, that's ice, and you can get on that ice and wiggle your way all the way to a different exit. Let me come back around and show you that I've got a couple caverns. This is backfilled, this cavern. You can crawl up there and make it 40, 50 feet, but it's eventually going to end and a little rough going, so I don't, uh, I won't bring you up there, but I'm going to come through here. A lot of fill in here, a lot of backfill, all loose rubble that I'm walking on. This is a nice cavern, and even with the backfill, I'm looking at a uh, 20-foot ceiling here. Uh, you can see somebody uh, sits here, they got themselves a little makeshift bench. I got my Gatorade and a snack, so let's borrow this for a few minutes. Back out, back out, and on to the next area. This one is a straight shot. 100 feet or more down to flooding and as far as I know maybe just deeper but no side tunnels. Got a nice vantage point, a uh, nice seat here. Uh, so starting from the bottom there's a big tube down there like a culvert. Uh, this is a 45 degree slope coming up. Ice halfway up until we actually about three quarters of the way up and then it stops right there where the sun, you'll see where the sun can start coming in and melting it away right up to the opening and out. Hi, so what I'm trying to do now is get down to the, there's one more area that I'd like to show you and I didn't think I'd be able to get there because it uh, was down where the flooding is on the other side but I just found I'm standing in a little opening I came through uh, worked my way down about five, six feet of rocks. And I might be able to get there. Uh, I see this just tunnels through, uh, goes down lower, comes out at the bottom. I think I'm going to come out near the water. And if I'm where I hope to be, there's going to be a separate tunnel that leads us back uh, underground. Okay, this is great. This came out exactly where I'd hoped it would. Uh, came just through this opening here that shot up to the surface. And as I spin around, and see, that's where we are showing you the water over there. Now I'm all the way here. And a couple things. Uh, first, that giant, giant arch. Yeah, we're right under it. Look at that. It's jumping around on you, but it's right above us. Uh, and I said there was that cavern under uh, that went off from the water. And it reminded me of the, one of the Yuhas uh, caverns, just the way it's big and open. That's it right there. You'd miss it if uh, you were standing anywhere other than where I am, but uh, you come up at ice over, stroll right in there, and there's a whole another area to explore. Uh, coming back around, again, where I came through, and this is the other spot I wanted to show you guys underground in here where that wall is. Here we go. This is fun because we got some a lot of old remnants. You see that the wall, the retaining wall that's been built, the old wooden runners to pull the sled up. And something we don't usually see, an old panel. Whoops, let me give you some light. Look at that, an old power panel. One time they would light it up under here. Got these massive beams. Those are big. Those are like telephone poles, uh, but stubby. Old wheelbarrow, bunch of old stuff here, tarp, and this is ice, but it's not, it's just like a, you know, a couple inches that's iced over, so we can get you into this room. And I always loved here, because check out this wall. That's a retaining wall too, but built out of rock. Let me see if I can get some more light on that. Okay, I'm moving a little bit closer, I got a little more light on it. Yeah, check this out. How cool is that? Hi, back at the car. 
Kind of got cut off there. The battery died. Uh, but I had another one in the car. I uh, should have had it in my pocket. And yeah, I didn't quite beat the rain getting back to the car, but that's all right. It felt good on me. Hope you guys enjoyed another venture up here into the mountains of New Hampshire. That's uh, back to the real world for me, and hope to see you out here next time.